All right, how you doing, guys? It's your boy QB from QB Gaming. I'm gonna do a review on the Revolution Nacon Pro 2 and an unboxing of this uh, Nacon DJ Arcane Stick. Now, I've been looking for a good arcade stick for a while now. And from what I've seen, the Mad Cat's been running the um, Evo and the fighting tournaments for a while. Oh, take a look at the shirt, Stop the Violence. You know what I'm saying? Stop the Violence, G the fan, but back to the video. Now, this DJ, whatever the DJ stick, it's pretty good. Uh, I've been on YouTube. I've seen three people, only three people reviewed it. It's been out since late last year. And we're going to get an uh, unboxing of this right now before we go to the review with the, the Pro Controller. So I'm gonna put this down right here. Oh, the twins look like they're coming out. Hope they don't be too loud. Yes? You want Baba? You're big, you ain't need Baba. I just gave you tuna fish, you ain't need Baba, you're big. All right, I'm going to get you a Baba, okay? She meant she's three years old to my Baba. All right, so oh, let me give you a, uh, a view of the box. Let's see, it says, reveal your skills. <laughs> That's for that Mortal Kombat, you heard? I'm going to get me a Street Fighter. The last Street Fighter I owned was Street Fighter 4 Ultimate. Not Ultimate, Super Street Fighter 4 for PlayStation 5. And this is PlayStation 4. This is for the PlayStation 4. And the PlayStation 3. Oh, back to the arcade. When I was looking at arcade sticks, you know, if anybody was looking for an arcade stick or a fighting stick, they know it's only three options. Four of you rich. But three options. We have the Panera, the Razor. <clears throat> We're not going to get into Razor products. Because as you can see, the only real competitor to Razor is Nancon. And I own the Pro Controller as well as the arcade stick. That I just bought. Okay, so we're getting this open. Let's, let's see what they got in the back. Let's see what they got in the back. Just a little printout. So when it pops up, you can see that. The side, you can see that. Got this hot chick on there. I don't know who that is, but she's hot. I like to play her in games, of course. In games, of course. Now let's open this bad boy up one hand oh by the way this is my first youtube video if you got oh if i do good you see me a, a lot more <clears throat> okay taking this thing out with one hand let's put this thing down oh ready look see that thing that thing say let me see make sure you can see it that thing say ready oh shit fight that's what that thing say a lot of people I see in the tournament, oh, Lordy, they don't use fighting six for Mortal Kombat. They don't use, oh, I took the left side out. It's usually, people usually use fighting sticks for, for Street Fighter, Tekken. I don't like Tekken, I'll tell you that. Street Fighter, though, I could do that Street Fighter. I'm about to cop that today, arcade edition, of course. Okay, now this says, Daiju. Arcade stick. Oh, we about to be popping, fam. Oh, back again what I was saying. Oh, no, let me go back here. Back again to what I was saying about the arcade sticks. There's the Mad Cats that people use in the Street Fighter tournaments, which Mad Cat went out of business. See my VR? Pretty nice. <laughs> uh, people say Mad Cat or oh, Mad Cat's out of business, so I wouldn't buy stuff from people who's out of business. And one of the most important things is the prongs. On the Mad Cat Control, the piece that goes here got five little prongs. That's trash in my opinion. But look at this thing right here. Look at that thing right here. Ooh, Sam Y button, Sam Y stick. This thing feel like everything. This thing. Hadouken, Hadouken. Get over here, get over here. Hot, top, top, Dogan. All right, let's get this on the desk. Well, let's see what else comes in the box. 
You got their advertising, their wired controllers. These are the uh, little baby ones. Uh, I believe they're like $34, something, $40. A couple of stickers. Let's open this up. If, if they could slide out, it'll be... Oh, all right. Balls, I didn't have to. Hey, Kayla. Let's see what we got in here. We got another uh, vinyl for this one. This one's supposed to have like a snake. You can't really see. And that's that's Daddy Arcade Stick. See Daddy Arcade Stick? Yeah. What else? They what else comes in a box? Whole bunch of nothing. What you got? What's this? Okay, crap. Well, the boxing the boxing was real simple compared to the um. Compared to this guy right here, the Revolution Pro Controller 2, this, this unboxing was real simple. It was real simple and basic. That bad boy had a way better unboxing. Hold on, let me put get this box straightened up so I can put this thing on the table. Look at it. All right, we're six minutes in. Oh, six minutes in. Okay. Uh, on the side, on the right side, you got the PlayStation button. You got, uh, what's this? Share button, R3, L3. You got uh, options, which is start. And you got, uh, what's this? Mode, LS, pad, RS, play, platform. And that's the platform. This is a touchpad right here. In the front, you got nothing. You got nothing. But you do have where the wire sits at. See where that wire goes? Now, it's a connected wire. So no need to... um. Oh, what I do want to show you guys is... This is no is not sold in the U.S. So let's see. <laughs> Will I even be able to play this bad boy? Oh, Okay. Cause I forgot it's not um it doesn't go into the wall or anything so it wouldn't be a problem if it was sold in the U S cause it goes right into your PlayStation. I thought I would have a hard time putting it, plugging it, with being it was European or from France. Yes, Kayla. Paw Patrol. All right, I'll come put it on in a minute. All right. So on the left side, we got a clean view. The front got a clean view, but a PlayStation logo. Uh, and it's a Matcon sign right there if you can see it. Okay, now let's open this bad boy up. First, we get you to look at it. Now, see that um, the Viper, <laughs> famous Nancon icon. The buttons fell. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, the price for this controller is one ninety nine. Overseas, of course, I paid one seventy seven on Amazon. Quite a deal. Okay, now let's open this bad boy up. Two buttons on the side. Ho ho, ho ho, let's get it. The buttons and all that. Got the extra bat top that you know, you know, no. Niggas, I'm playing with that. Got this one, screwdrivers. Yep. Look like a hex, hex screw. What else do they have in here besides those two things? Looks looks quite oh this was over here. Pretty sure that pretty sure that and it was stuck over here. I'm pretty sure that was not supposed to go there. So we're gonna just put that right there. Okay. The hinges. I don't know. Wait, let me see. What are they made out of? They're made out of metal. Okay. Hinges all metal, so $177, well, Smith. Now, now, the other RK6, the Mad Cats, you know, also does this. But it's old. And the people who make it are out of business. The Razor. 
A lot of guys gonna say, oh, the Razor, the Razor, this, the Razor. It's called the Razor Panthera. Yeah, that's. Oh, let's see. Let's see about the closing thing. I was just having a problem closing it. Come, let's come. see. Cause one of these things were up. I just pushed it down. Now let's see how it closes. Come, dear. Oh, it didn't close good. It didn't close good. Let's give it another try. Look at the twins. I have the twins here. Say, hey, Ken Ken. Say hi. Hi. Say hey, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. <laughs> All right. Now, I left the things up this time instead of pushing them down. Let's see how it closes. Watch your hands, Kayla. And it still doesn't close good. Maybe you got to just force it. I forced it a little down. I wish it could have been a little better than that. But for $177, it should have been better than that. Okay. Uh, so the review, the review, it feels wonderful. Sandwa buttons, sandwa paddles and everything. So it's the best of the best. I didn't feel comfortable buying one of them cheap $60 uh, joysticks. Now comparing it to the Mad Cats, which I never had, like I said, they out of business. And the prongs is a detachable prong piece with five little um, dots. If I was um, referring products to anybody, never buy any product with a connection with the five pin. Cause my original pro controller came with that. Five pins, it broke after five months and I take care of my stuff very well, but the pins broke out. And that car gave me a hard time returning it, but Amazon returned it for me. And I bought this one, the pro controller two from that car. Now this is a C-type, huh, no five pins here. Beautiful, beautiful controller. Now, this one. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I'm making a YouTube video right now. I'm going to come put Paw Patrol. Go in the room. Go, go, go. I'm going to come. Uh, I have a one bedroom. Sorry. Oh, and I basically picked up one of these. Now, this is stock. And these buttons, compared to that Nancon, and these sticks, it's a joke. I played a lot on the first player. See how loose it is? Second player. A little tighter. Super Street Fighter 2. This is Turbo Edition. This is the one I have selected, and it's super hard. I beat the first one, Champion Edition. Beat the second one, but this one with Akuma, huh, can barely get past the second guy because it's just so fast. But them buttons and them sticks on that thing, nothing compared to this. Now, I talked about the Mad Cats and how the um, five prong connector is trash. Don't buy nothing with a five prong connector. This one is in, included inside the machine, so it's not, it's not detachable. Uh, the next competitor to this, I would have to say, is... Oh, we talked about it. The Raju, the Razor Panthera. The first Panthera that opens up like this. Pretty cool. Pretty fucking cool. I, I'd rather get that than the newer one, because the newer one don't even open up. And you can't change the buttons as easily, as quickly... As you can this one. You got to probably take apart these screws right here and some more at the bottom to change just the, um, the graphics on the new Panthera. And, it, and the, bu the button is not accessible as, as this one. Although it does have an attached wire. The regular Panthera, you had to, uh, um, the first Panthera, it had the five part, five prong thing, which is messing up. I know people is messing up on people. And the newer one has a uh, attached one, attached wire, just like this one. Yes, yes. All right, come on, come on. Sorry, guys. What, you hit her? No fighting, no fighting. Come on, come on. These guys are messing up my video, man. Look. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, go watch it. You want juice? Go lay down. Your mommy about to come. Oh, boy. All right, so that leaves the third option, the Veritex, the Veritex, whatever, $350 arcade stick. That costs more than a PlayStation right now. <laughs> Go figure. Who's buying that? Uh, unless you're playing PC, then I guess that's the only reason you would buy that. You no, know, Since they're having a control that costs more than a system, right? <laughs> but who wants that glowing, something that glows on the side, glows on both sides? Who wants that? 
Nobody, I don't want to be a lifesaver. The only thing I admire about that $350 um, arcade stick was the metal that cools you while you play. Because as you know, if you're a gamer gamer, you get hot, you get sweaty, you know? And that, that brushed aluminum or whatever is made out of wood make you feel better. And, you know, cool you down. But as far as for 177 is either this or the Mad Cash Pro, which out of business. To Pandera that don't open up. Hard to change the graphics. Or this, 177, 200. Open up, change the graphics, sample parts, sample everything. Elegant. Nancon is elegant. And it's good money. So that's going to be in the, the end for my unboxing with that. Now let's go to... I highly recommend this, even though I haven't used it. But I know the parts are good. Layout is good. Let's see. Let's see about the bottom before... I'll put this set to rest. Yeah. Got that sticky. Got that sticky. Game of Tag QB Gangster. I'm on Mortal Kombat. Soon be on Street Fighter. I, I do play Naruto and Justice. You know what I'm saying? For Honor. UFC 2. Now let's go to the review of the Nankong. That was an unboxing of the, um, the Daiju. Nankong Daiju fight stick. Now this is the Nankong. Revolution Pro. So you guys know we all love first person shooters. Huh? You know we all love first person shooters. I also got a uh, arcade racing stick, racing wheel. Let me know if you guys want to see a review on that. PlayStation Pro. Do got some Vitas, some hack Vitas. Give you some some reviews on that. VR, let me know if you want to see some VR. VR gameplay, firewall is amazing. Um, here we go. This is Type C braided cable. Got some, got some mileage on it. I'm gonna give you a review on this bad boy. Now this fighter games, fighting games. See this bad? Beautiful. Number one for fighting games. Way better than the original. Yes, Kayla. Hold on. I'm trying to do my review. I'm trying to do my review. My unboxing is done. I'm doing a review now. Compared to this. Now, as you can see, analog sticks. Like, similar, similar to the Xbox. Superior for fighting games. Superior for first-person games. <laughs> Little triggers, which work excellent. This can be played on PC, PlayStation 4, I doubt PlayStation 3. And you got a couple of modes that you can change for like different games. The lights up here. Now this is going for brand new 150. You can probably find it on Amazon sometime. Four different things for four different games you want to program. For, you can find it for 120, but it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? I game a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. More than four hours a day, every day. So if I'm going to be dedicated to gaming, I got to have the best in my arsenal. So what I challenge you guys to do, if you're a gamer like me, <laughs> and you think Namcom can't, can't dish it out against any Razer products, you know what you could do? You could comment. About how good it is. Or show me a link, link to your video on how your products rock. For me, it's Nancon. For you, it could be Razer. For somebody else, it could be regular PlayStation handhelds or regular PlayStation controllers. Me, that's what the guests get. The guests get the regular. I want top line, top shelf products. And that's what Nancon has delivered me. Hopefully, their customer service. Won't give me a hard time if I have any problems with this thing because, as you know, they're not being sold in in U.S. Uh, so please like, subscribe to my videos, and I guess I'll catch you later. I don't need you to um, hit the notification bell because you don't need to get notified when, when you're in your life doing what you do to get notifications on me posting videos. If you're looking for what you're looking for, hopefully I'll be there. But it's QB Gamer. Mancon is what it is. We out. Please love. Prosperity.